Hello YouTubers. And yes, this is the Cisco system going. Partially right now. We're still encountering some issues, but... It is late at night. And of course, you know, you gotta have a late night project of some sort. But we reached some milestones here. Yes, I got a 7960 going. And the 7940. Now, the 7940's got a slight issue with the button, as I noticed. So. Oh, so that can be repaired by going inside, which, you know, I'm finally going inside and, you know, making the fixes. But. And yes, we got the good old RCA by Telefield out. And yes, this is hooked up and it's got an extension. It's a little bit wonky right now. You got spaghetti, spaghetti factory of wires going on here. <laughs> yes, we got the UTI one going. Now this is not on the main system, but this is on the subsystem, as I like, kind of one of my many subsystems. I'll call it. Things are a little everywhere right now. And yeah, these guys in the back. By the way, that's a new horn. Uh, yes, this is a Duquesne slash Atlas Sound AP15T horn. Just rebranded as Duquesne in a different color. But yeah, spoiler alert, alert, there's a sound sphere coming. I believe the Model 110. I got one of those coming. But let's go to the main prize of all i'm sure many of you have been wanting to see this in operation for probably the longest time on this channel now so uh, so let's call i believe the other one is 20 2010 no 2000 let's call the ip phone at the desk And then I put it on speaker so you can hear. Oh yeah, that's right. This one's got that button issue. Here, I'm gonna pick it up from here. So as you can see, it works. Test check one, two, three. It's got that really nice hang-up sound. But also, let's call from here. This one is 2040. And yes, it's working. Because I gave it an extension. And it hangs up automatically. So, and yes, this will call that. And then also, As you can hear, I, I just use as you saw. When I dial nine, which by the way is connected to this green wire here, on the, or not the green wire, this white wire down here, the second one here, connects to that. The Google Voice Gateway. Now it's not fully functional yet. Well, this is functional, but. I, if I make, if I call this, nothing's going to go through. I'll just get it as a busy, busy tone on my cell phone. But, I could literally call this phone right now from here, but obviously I'm using it. Maybe one of these nights, maybe I'll order some pizza or something on this. It's for funsies. Maybe call Domino's or something. Because why not? And the grand prize of all, the UTI one. We have a station in use and an override. Now, the override's on an FXO port. And this one, this one's on the, the first FXO port. And this one's on the, the first FXS port. This is 2030, 2050. This is how Home Depot probably does their... They're set up all. I know one Home Depot I go to, they totally use the override. Because, you know, the stuff, you know, every time they page, it sounds really loud and you get the quad tone. 
and then when you hang up, you can hear a loud pop go through these. Kind of got to get that here too. So let's do 2050. As you can see, it's working, and you can hear that IP delay. This is so fun. I could do this all night long. I don't want to bother anyone. As you can hear, it makes that loud pop. And then I could go here and dial 2030. And then you get the normal, the normal page. Could you know, I, I, I feel like I'm living in those Walmart intercom videos right now, because honestly, it, I'm sure almost every Walmart by now has, well, a slightly newer version of this, but still, except it's in my, you know, in my very own room. This is some corporate stuff that's going on here. And then also, I'm sure you want to see this connect to the UTI one. Let's do 20, or no, wait, that's 25, we don't have 25. And then you can see it works, and now it sounds normal because it's just going directly through those analog cards. Twenty thirty also works. As you can see, that also works. It's not perfect yet. I'm getting help from another viewer right now, so he's, you know, guiding me through some of the hurdles that you know I may come that I'm coming across on these. Sure. Yeah, you know, I, I had to figure out the hard way with the FXO ports. This is this is CLI. This is what's in the router right now. Now, I hopefully once all of this comes along, if this is one hundred, like if once well, everything's one hundred percent done, I will definitely try to provide some sort of documentation and maybe a video tutorial on how to do this because I'm sure many of you out there may want to get this kind of stuff but you want to integrate your analog stuff in I had to do tons and tons of research to figure out what cars will work with this particular router because this one was actually pretty cheap I think I got it on sale on eBay you know very long ago and I got really actually turned it turns out that this one actually, this router actually came with the FXS card already. It came with the card included, which in the picture it didn't show that. And I actually ordered a separate card, which I have one extra put away. Of the same exact card, so I could literally hook up eight analog phones to this right now if I wanted to. And then also I had to buy the FXO separately and stick it in, you know, to the, in the appropriate slots. So yeah, this is some amazing stuff here. I have never thought that I would be playing around with these here. Because I remember when I was a kid in elementary school, remember the joys of picking up one of these, like whenever like, whenever a call would come in for me in the classroom, I, you know, pick it up or not, the teachers would be like, hey, they want you on the phone and I'd be talking on it. It was pretty cool. And now I have this there. And I remember in the classes, there was exactly this one, the 7940 with the old Cisco Systems logo. Now this is back in like 2008 or 2010. <laughs> Always like these phones. Now unfortunately, I don't really get the 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 ring options, I was like, we could go into settings and look at that. Select. Get. All I get is their standard. You get that. And then you go down. 
That's all that I get. I don't get like that Jamica and the little Are You There or whatever ringtone. I don't know. I guess the much higher end systems probably have all that. This one's just probably got the basic stuff, which is fine. This is like the one I hear at Walmart all the time, that particular one. And this one I hear like in, you know, that one used to be the default mostly at my school. Which also is funny because I don't know, I'm sure some of you probably watched The Office in the audience there. I know these are a huge icon in that show. I've never really watched the show too much. I just occasionally seen parts of it and I'm like, hey, that's a Cisco IP phone. Like a 7960 or a 7940. Well, we got these going in real life. This is 100% through CLI right now, what you see. Like I said, I am working with another viewer to get this going. Because at the end, the goal at the end of this is I would... I will try to provide like a, I don't know, like a document to get you guys going. If you guys are, you know, ever wanting to get this kind of equipment, you guys don't have to go through all the trouble that, you know, I'm facing right now. And it'd be a little bit easier for you guys to set up. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this little short video. And of course, like I said, it's not perfect. As soon as I, like I said, disconnect this, that's another thing I'm working on. Is if I, I say disconnect this, I'm not going to do it right now. Because then this thing will just go back in loading mode. And it will never reload. Unless I redo the configs all over again and whatnot. Like I said, I'm working with another viewer to address that issue. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this little bit of a milestone going on here.